The goal of this video is to show how to connect M580 PLC to an HMI ST6. A few steps are required to connect a M580 PLC to an HMI ST6. We will see first the description of the embedded Ethernet ports of the PLC. Then, we will configure the PLC project and export the variables through a XVM file. Then, we will add a Modbus TCP driver into the HMI application and import the variables. Then, we will configure the Modbus TCP driver. Finally, we will connect the PLC to the HMI. Here are the different roles of the embedded Ethernet ports according to the CPU chosen. Here is the topology used in this video. We will connect the web viewer to check the behavior of the HMI. Here is the EchoStructure Control Expert application. You can see here the different sections. To configure the IP address of the PLC, double click on the Ethernet ports of the CPU. In the security settings, you can configure which device can have access to this PLC including the authorized services. Make sure that port 502 is activated for Modbus communication. In the variable list, we have configured all the variables we want to use into this application. As you can see, the address column is empty. It means that the variables are unlocated. You must activate the data dictionary feature to allow the HMI to have access to unlocated variables. Now you can generate your application. To export the XVM file including PLC variables. Right click on variables node then on export. Select XVM as type and save the file. Now let's switch to EchoStructure Operator Terminal Expert to configure the HMI application. Click on driver and add Modbus TCP Master Equipment. You can rename your equipment. Click on symbol link in order to import the PLC variables. Add symbol link and select XVM type for control expert. Select the previously exported XVM file. Now you can see that the PLC variables are imported. Design your HMI application. As you can see, here are some objects using PLC variables. Click on Modbus Equipment and display the equipment settings. Enter the IP address of the PLC.
Keep the IEC 61131 syntax activated. The Ethernet port of the HMI is configured here. Let's switch back to EchoStructure Control Expert to download the PLC application. Then run the PLC. Now switch to EchoStructure Operator Terminal Expert to download the HMI application. In this example, the HMI is accessible through the web viewer. You can see that the variables are exchanged properly between the PLC and the HMI ST6.